Colin, what does it mean to come up here and you know, start the Pac-12 season 1-0? and um, That's everything right now. I mean, just getting a win. I feel like defensively, we played really well. We started to look as a unit right now, and everybody was making plays, and it was just a great feeling. But we celebrate until tonight, and then tomorrow we'll get back to work. Do you feel like this was you guys' best all-around game so far this season? Yes, 100%. I mean, special teams, offense, and defense, I feel like we were working together as one and we just feeding off each other's energy and luckily we got the W today. I feel like for you guys, was it most important to win that battle in the trenches? It seemed like you were able to do that kind of on both sides of the ball. Yeah, that's where games are won and lost is in the trenches. And if you control the line, you control where the ball is, what, what kind of pressure the quarterback's under, how it affects his timing with his receivers. And we did that really well today. Jalen, what did it feel like to finally get a sack, get your hands on the quarterback out uh, there? It felt good. At practice, I've been working on it. I got close in the games, but ne never reached it in the past. So today, it felt good. And I owe it to my teammates because they pushed me to get better and better. And it finally happened. You just had to be patient. Where do you think your game has grown the most over the last couple of years? Uh, I think being a better run stopper, I still have to work on it a lot. I need a lot of work. But, and now I think I'm a little bit stronger, but I still need to work on it. Do you think you're going to get a bigger chance to play today? Uh, I think that I have my opportunity, and I appreciate it. My uh, teammate Kyle Wilbur, he's an excellent player, so we split time, and we push each other to be better. You guys only had two sacks on the year coming in. What was the difference today where you got so much more pressure on the quarterback? Uh, I think just practicing better and watching film, and knowing our opponent, we watched film, studied, and it showed today. Um, Colin, did anything change with Blount being a quarterback instead of Luton? Um, not necessarily. I mean, they were splitting a lot of reps early on in the year, and then I think he got injured last week, so we were expecting uh, Blount to come in and start, and it doesn't matter who's back there. We're still going to have our game plan and try to execute that. Jalen, you mentioned your, your individual improvement against the run. Coming into this game with them having a leading rusher in the Pac-12, was, was it a huge focal point to try to stop the run and force them into passing situations? Uh, yes, uh, they were a very good team, so we had to get better in the trenches and make plays. So that was the goal this week. If we played good in the trenches and stopped the run and forced them to pass, then we had a chance to win the game. What, what, if anything, kind of felt different as far as the physicality of the defense today? Uh, well, it started on practice. We brought more energy. And our coaches told us if we kept the energy up and we uh, played how we practiced, that we would be successful. So I think that's what it was. Colin, is it pretty important to have three games behind you to know what other guys out on the defense can do? Um, I mean, on paper, we had nine returning starters this year at the beginning, and then we just weren't clicking like we should have. So we had some players move around with spots and injuries, and just everybody needs to do their job and play like a unit, and that's when we're really effective as a defense. How much time, if at all, did you spend watching the offense today? Every time they're on the field, I mean, you never know who's going to score a touchdown on the offensive side, and it's kind of fun to watch and see who's going to do what. I know the offensive linemen obviously enjoy it when you're able to dominate in the run. Do you kind of enjoy that as a defensive player, too? Very much. I and mean, JJ and Gary were just workhorses today. It was lots of fun watching them get up the field, break tackles, get first downs, and give us a little bit of a break. You guys go against that offensive line in practice. How much of a difference has it made in practice and in games to have Leif Freck back out there? Um, it's awesome. I mean, he's, he's got so many plays under his belt, and he knows what he's doing, and he plays hard. So going versus that every single day really helps us um, when it comes to game time. Sure. For, for either one of you, you guys were 0-2, obviously, before, and now you're 2-2. Two two. How do you kind of feel about the, the, the trajectory of the season at this point? Um, I mean, like I said earlier this year, there's not a team on our schedule we don't think we can't beat. So... Yeah, a win feels good. It feels a lot better than a loss, obviously, but we can only hold on to that for so long. We've got to get another win next week. All right, guys, we'll get a few more players here in a second. Then